Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about the Good Lock for Samsung. So there has been a recent update to the Good Lock application that's simply amazing. Now, for those of you guys who do not know what Good Lock is, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to the Samsung Galaxy Apps Store and just type in Good Lock over here, G O O D Lock, and then tap on it, and that's going to bring up Good Lock 2018. And of course, if you tap it, you're going to be able to download it. And if you open this thing up, it's got a bunch of modules that basically allow you to do some amazing customization uh, for your Samsung device. And of course, in this video, I'm going to talk about the newest thing that they have, the Navstar application. So basically, the Navstar allows you to create and customize the navigation bar at the bottom over here. So even as you look at mine right now, you'll see that I have some unique buttons over here for the home button, for the recents button, and for the back button. So all you want to do is download Navstar, go right into it, and then this is the new option that you have. Now on the top you have on and off switch, so if you turn this off, you just get the basics. Uh, if you turn this on, you can pick from any one of these uh, styles over here. As you can see, as I pick the style that I want, at the bottom you get a modification. All right. So these are absolutely fantastic. Now the greatest thing with this one actually is, you can create your own custom navigation bar. Now, in my instance, I made this one over here uh, that has a camera shortcut here and also the power off switch. Now, this is not the power off as in turning off the phone. This is just to turn off the screen. So if I tap this, the screen just gets turned off. All right, let me go back in. So to create your own actual navigation bar, what you want to do is you want to turn the, on, uh, the, the option to on. You want to tap on the new configuration. And then from here, you want to pick a background color. So you can pick any one of these preset colors. Let's pick this one over here. And then what you want to do is you want to pick the button layout. So if you go over here to the button layout, uh, you can do right aligned, left aligned, or you can then add a button. Okay. So when you get the option to add a button, uh, you can pick the buttons that you want from this menu over here. So I can have things like uh, screen off. I can have things like screen capture. So that's going to allow me to take a screenshot. And then when I'm done, I tap on done over here and I can see the preview on the top. You can always go back to edit it if you want, uh, but let's go back over here. Discard changes, cancel. Let's click done. And also you can go over here, you can change the actual icons. You can change the transparency and you can enable or disable this, this option known as the adaptive icon colors. Now when you're done with the whole thing, when you're happy with the way your thing looks over here, you click on save and that's going to save your new configuration all the way at the bottom. So I've got two of these right now. So I can have this one over here. Now let me go back home. And from here, let's say I want to take a screenshot. Boom. Screenshot has been taken. And when I'm done with my phone, I can just turn it off just like that. Absolutely fantastic. So that is the latest addition to the uh, Good Lock uh, suite. So again, you want to go to Galaxy Apps, all right, and make sure you download Good Lock. And that's going to give you all these other options in case you're not familiar uh, but if you are familiar with good luck, this is something new that just got dropped on us. So go ahead and play with this guy. Okay. And if you're brand new, then just download all these guys and make crazy modifications to your phone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to append the good luck video to the end of this video. So if you're not familiar with good luck, you can watch the entire video uh, to see what you can do with all these fantastic options. But if you are already aware of what good luck is, uh, you can end the video right here because this is the only new thing you're going to find out in this video. All right, guys, have a fantastic day and enjoy the appended video. So good luck brings some visual enhancements to your smartphone so you can do things like this. So if I tap the recents button, now as you can see, the recents window button has changed completely. The interface has been enhanced. It looks better overall. It's got these nice animations. Uh, you can tap over here to start multitasking and all that good stuff. So let me show you how to get good luck, how to install it, and all the fantastic things you can do with this app. And of course, you can do even things like this. If you pull down the notifications panel, you can customize the colors of this entire area, including the background, the text, the icons, and even the notifications panel here can be black instead of white. So I'm going to show you all that in this video. Now, before we dive in, if you do own a smartphone, make sure to hit that subscribe button to subscribe to Saki Tech. 
And of course, make sure to click that notifications bell icon as well to make sure you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. All right, let's dive in. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the Galaxy uh, Store. So go to your search, tap on Galaxy Apps, okay? If you don't want to search for it, you can just go to the uh, app drawer, tap on the Samsung folder, and just look for the Galaxy Apps app and tap on it. Now from here, I want you guys to tap on search and simply type in good luck. When you tap it, it's going to come right up on the top. It's going to say good luck 2018. So once you install this application, I want you guys to click open. And then what's going to happen is you're going to see a list of these fantastic applications that enhance uh, the way you do things on your uh, smartphone. So this one here is called the task changer. That's this one right here. So if I tap on this one, it gives me this new and improved task changer that is much more fancy looking than the, than the other task switchers if you are sick of them, all right? So the one thing you're going to notice is when you download this application, uh, you're not going to see these check marks. You do have to download each one of these applications individually, but don't worry, they're all here for you guys to actually pick and choose and download. So if you want to, for example, download the Lockstar, you just tap on it, it's going to take you to the store, you just click install, and then it's going to show up here, and it's going to have a check mark. And once that check mark is there, you can simply tap on this and start making modifications. So while we are here, let's talk about Lockstar. So this one has been turned on, and basically it overrides your traditional lock screen. So if I disable this, okay, and if I turn off the phone, and if I uh, go back into the lock screen, you're going to see the default lock screen. Now if I go back inside and enable this, it's going to actually uh, apply the new style that you're seeing over here. So the clock has moved down and other things have gone up. Uh, you can also choose the unlock type. You can choose to swipe to unlock, swipe up to unlock, swipe down to unlock, or left or right. And then what you can do is you can actually add an app shortcut interaction, which could be touch, double tap, or Samsung default. And you can use the system clock, or you, you can actually disable that, and it's going to show you something different. And of course, you can keep the existing system wallpaper that you're using. Now, when I go back to the lock screen, uh, you'll notice that the lock screen is going to look a little bit different. The clock is now down, and I can swipe on the screen to unlock the smartphone. And again, if I go back to that uh, setting over here, the good lock, uh, the, the lock star setting, you can also choose different ways to actually unlock the uh, smartphone. I can just swipe down to unlock or swipe up to unlock. So if I do this, uh, and if I go back to the lock screen, I cannot swipe uh, up to unlock, okay? It has to be swiped down. Cannot be left, cannot be right. Has to be swiped down to unlock the uh, smartphone. So we're back here. Let's go right back. Let's look at the next thing. Uh, over here, we have the Quick Star um, app. So if I tap on this one over here, it allows me to literally customize the quick panel. So if I tap on this guy, I can tap on coloring. And then from here, I can pick different colors. Uh, let's enable the option. Let's pick this color, click apply. And what's going to happen is uh, my quick panel now has a brand new color uh, as well as my notifications panel. All right, let's go back up. I can choose this one as well. Click apply and boom. Now we got a black one. Okay, I can tap on this, click apply. And now I've got one with red background buttons. All right, now if you go back here, uh, you have this option. This option allows you to hide icons on the status bar. So if I enable this, uh, I can uh, disable things like the time. So if I tap on this, the time on the top is gone. If I tap it again, it's enabled. Okay, so everything over here, you can enable or disable with this indicator. All right, so that's quick start. So let's move on uh, to uh, to the uh, actual, so that's good luck right here. Okay, so that was quick start. Now we have the task changer. Now task changer is the one I showed you. If you tap on this one, it allows you to have this beautiful interface. Now real quick, uh, if I disable this, you have this one, okay? Or you have, you probably have this one right here. Oops, not that one. Cancel. You probably have the thumbnail view, which is the regular one that you get with Android, uh, with the Samsung smartphones. And if you tap this again, you can do the list view. Now that's the one I like, but you can go one step further. You can download this, enable it, and now you got this beautiful little app switcher, all right? And there's more things you can do with this app switcher. Uh, if you tap this button, it allows you to uh, pull up multi-window apps uh, to do to do multitasking. Other things you have is you have the mini mode, 
you have the scroll effect. So if I tap on this one, I can actually uh, pick up a scroll effect. So now, as you can see, we have different scroll effects. Uh, let me go back out, tap this one more time. Let's do cube out. Now we have this effect, all right? If I tap this again, rotation up, now we've got this effect, all right? So that's pretty uh, nice and fancy. You also get this whole thing in the mini mode. So let me just pick this to cube in. If I enable the mini mode, now when I tap this, I get the smaller version so I can see more of what's on the background, all righty? So that's pretty nice as well. You can also apply a blurring effect to the background. So if I tap it now, the background is blurred out. That's absolutely fantastic. And then you can also center the currently running app. So if I tap on this one, and if I go like this, uh, the currently running app is centered right over here, which is on the background, as you can see. So you can do all these things with the task changer settings. Now, let me go right back over here and go to routines. Now, let me skip this. It's going to be a little more complicated. Let me just quickly go to clock face. If you tap on clock face, it gives you even more clock faces to actually apply on your lock screen or even on your always on display if you have the always on display enabled. Now let me just talk about the lock screen, but everything applies to the always on display as well. So at the bottom, you have all these built in clock faces that you'll see regularly on your Samsung smartphones. But if you tap this icon, actually this icon shows up after you install good lock and also the, um, the clock faces uh, right here, okay? So you tap on this, and you get all these fancy clock faces that you've never seen before. You get this guy, you got this guy, you got this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, oops, this one right here, this one. So nice and cool. Okay, I want you guys to download these and take a look at all these guys. All right, that's pretty fancy. Let's keep that over here. And of course, as usual, you can modify the color from here. This is just built into the actual uh, phone anyway. Uh, what you're getting brand new is the, let's tap here again, is the actual clock styles, okay? Changing the color has already been already built into these uh, smartphones. So let's go back to the, uh, to the actual good lock. Now we have the multi-star, okay? The multi-star, if you tap on this, enjoy enhanced multi-window experience. So if you tap on this guy, you actually get the multi-plus, uh, multi-window plus. So you can use the multi-window without pausing, uh, you can enable multi-window on all apps that are not even supported. And of course, it's an experimental feature. And of course, you can do the pop-up window on all the smartphones. So let me show you how this one works. Pop-up window allows you to do this. Swipe from the top right, and boom, the window is now a pop-up window. And with the ghost mode over here that's been enabled, what I can do is I can tap on this over here, uh, this icon, and I can actually reduce the opacity uh, and, and make it transparent to see what's on the background. Again, I can tap it more and more, and it goes back to maximum, okay? I can tap this to maximize, of course, but that's the pop-up window. Again, any window, let me just la launch something else over here. Let's launch the calculator. I can go like this. Uh, this is already built in, but this is new, okay? So this transparency is something that allows you to see what's, what's happening on the actual background. So let me maximize that. And one more thing, I'm going to go back into the good lock. Now, this one here is pretty fantastic. So let me show you how that one works. So basically, normally when somebody sends you, if, if I go inside, it allows me to pick uh, uh, certain apps that can be combined with this uh, option. So for example, I applied it to WhatsApp. I applied it to YouTube. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send myself a message from WhatsApp, and I want you guys to see how I get that notification. It's coming right up. So that's a WhatsApp notification, and look at that. I've got this little pop-up that's transparent that came straight from WhatsApp. So I can tap this. It'll, it'll take me uh, straight into the actual uh, thing. As a matter of fact, let me just tap it, and you'll see it right away. Okay, so there we go. And also, as you noticed, it opens up in the pop-up view. Again, you can uh, minimize this and just keep it on the, on the uh, actual uh, desktop or the home screen, or you can tap on it to expand it and see what's happening. Let me show you that one more time so you guys get the idea. There we go. Okay, so that's a pop-up that shows up right here on the top. That's a regular pop-up. This is the one that you get with the, uh, with the multi-star option if you enable the floating notification under pop-up window. All right, so that's multi-star. Let's go right back outside. All right, so let's go back into the uh, good lock. All right, so from here, the next thing I want to show you guys is going to be at the bottom here. 
So these are recommended recommended apps and also part of Goodlock's family. All right, you can download all these things. Now this one here, Sound Assistant, is something I already have. Pretty amazing. If you click open, you can enable the floating button. The floating button is going to remain on the phone for three, five, fifteen, or always visible. Okay, so let's do it for uh, for three, five seconds. I want to show you how to bring it up. And of course, make sure this one is enabled. So every time I press the volume button it's going to bring up that floating button. I can tap on that and I can use it to change the volume from here. I can tap this, get even more options. Tap this, get even more options such as accessing the equalizer. And also if I tap it again, I can go to the settings and make modifications to the sound assistant. But there's a lot of options here to dig in and play with with these uh, good lock accessories, accessory apps. And the final thing in the good lock is the routines I wanted to talk about. So if you tap on this one, you can literally create routines to do multiple things at once. So for example, if I come into my routines and if I um, enable this option always on display while charging, this automatically enables uh, the always on display while the phone is charging. Okay, so the condition has to be charging and the action is going to be turn on always display. Very nice. Uh, let me show you one more example. Let's click on plus. Let's just say S condition has to be charging or headphones can be connected or the battery level can be active. Let's just use this one. Tap on action, turn on Wi-Fi. Okay, so every time the phone is charging, the Wi-Fi will turn on automatically. That's just an example. Let me just change it up so you can see something even better. So tap on add condition. Uh, let's say battery level. So if the battery level is less than 40%, Okay, what I wanted to happen, let's just uh, make it a little bit less because I have less than 40% right now. So let's do 10%, add action, turn on power savings mode, click save. Okay, so I can just keep this enabled. And when I have this enabled, if the battery goes down below 10%, it's going to start to uh, uh, switch uh, the battery power savings mode on. All right, so routines are absolutely amazing. All right, guys, if you do own a smartphone, make sure to hit that subscribe button to subscribe to Saki Tech. And of course, make sure to click that notifications bell icon as well to make sure you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. Have a fantastic day for now.